On Monday, as people presumably know, uh, the kind people of OpenAI uh, returned from their Thanksgiving break, you know, presumably thinking they could just coast right into the holidays. Nope. Sorry, their boss drops a memo on them and that says it's a code red. Mm -hmm. And uh, the great journalist at Wall Street Journal, Berber Jin, got a copy of this uh, of this memo. It was leaked to him. That internal memo basically says, Altman telling people, you have more work to do on the day-to-day -day experience of the chatbot, according to the Wall Street Journal, including improving personalization features for you users, increasing speed and reliability, and allowing it to answer a wider range of questions. There were many ways you could sort of unpack this piece of news. I mean, the first, right, as a lot of people on my feeds have been doing, has to do with the, cra the cash crunch that eventually OpenAI is going to run into. And the idea that's, that in this case, Altman's basically pulling people back from doing these other projects they were supposed to be working on. There's a personal assistant codenamed mm -hmm. Pulse. And all these folks have supposedly been sort of pulled off those at least temporarily and put back on like, let's make ChatGPT better. And this is because Gemini is doing better and better. They have uh, like since their image generator, Nano Banana came out, their numbers of, of monthly users have risen from 450 million to 650 million in the last few months, right? Mm -hmm. Big deal. And so that is a threat to ChatGPT, which is poised to clear a billion weekly users uh, in the next few months, but still seems to be feeling the heat.